Hi, everybody. I was asked today in a, in a group that I'm in, it's called Happy Planner Babes, of if I do a video on how I made this, my own planner covers, my own journal slash planner, uh, to share it with the group. So I'm just sharing this with the public. And my husband is out of the house right now. And I'm working. So I don't care if the phone rings. My coworker can pick it up or go to the answering service. I would just like to get this video done. Okay, first of all, this is a completed project. What you start off with, these are uh, clear planner covers from pleasantlyplanned.com. And it comes with two of these in a set. One for the front cover, one for the back cover. Okay, so everything... So this is what this top part is. Inside, you're going to see this. And this is clear uh, dividers. And it comes six in a pack. Okay. And they you don't have to uh, use a punch for them. They're already punched out for you. This is a, a classic size. Okay. So on the top here, here's the front. Here's the inside, okay? Now let me, I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me. So over the top of this clear cover from 143vinyl.com, here is some holographic vinyl. And all I did was cut off a piece, and I'll show it to you. Here it is. And all I did was cut off a piece to go around the edges, leaving one side straight so that I could put it over the edges. I did not uh, cover up the holes here. The black lines here is the filler paper inside. And I did not line this up with the filler paper inside. I actually had the cover off of, off of this. This wasn't even put together yet when I did this. But as, as uh, steady as I could, I laid it down over the plastic cover. And I used a squeegee to squeegee it down real good. This is from 143vinyl.com. It's where I got it from. And when I put vinyl on stuff I use this and to make sure that it's stuck down real good and the bubbles is out of the vinyl. Now, and I should have uh, got the website up for you guys here. Let me bring it up on YouTube, YouTube not YouTube, but... 143vinyl.com Now this product is uh, new. It's DTF direct -to film transfers. So this is actually a sticker. Okay. Then they also have uh, Oh, this is actually for like uh, clothing and stuff. It's like heat transfer vinyl. But you can actually uh, sit, go here and put in your design and they will print it out and send it to you. This product here, the rose, is actually UV DTF decals, which is brand new. This rose came from Etsy. So I bought it from Etsy and then I uploaded it to 143vinyl.com right here and then you click you upload it let's just click whoops you select uh, whatever you want let's say this gnome image uploaded And copyright notice, do you have the right to uh, 
use this product. You're not selling it. You're only going to do it for yourself. So therefore, the answer is yes. And you can do it in different sizes. This is a 6 by 6 inch. You can do it 8 inch by 8, 10 by 10, and so on. So I did a 6 by 6 inch and then quantity of 2. Okay, then you add it to cart. Keep in mind that it does, could take about 5 business days to actually print this out before it actually ships. Okay, alright. So, <clears throat> once I got it, I actually, so on the top of here, of the design, there's going to be a sticky um, clear material over this then this sticks to because this is sticky it sticks to a backing which is also clear so you peel off the backing and then you adhere it to wherever you want to and then squeegee it down real good uh and then once you've got it where you want it to be, then you take that top film off and then squeegee it down again. Now, I did get some bubbles in this. You can't see it on the camera right now. But what you do is, if squeegeeing it out, I mean, you've got to be really careful and real slow when you squeegee vinyl or stickers like this. You know, just go a little bit at a time. I mean, just squeeze just a little bit at a time until you get to the end. Because you will get air under it. But if you get air under it, you'll see a bump on top of the vinyl. And you can just take an X-Acto knife, an X -Acto knife and cut it. And uh, then squeegee over it to let the air out from underneath. So this here... This vinyl here is also from 143vinyl.com. And you can buy these in uh, their vinyl sometimes in rolls or 12 by 12 sheets. So both of these came from 143vinyl.com. This is what I ordered recently, but I've, I have enough vinyl to sink a ship. <laughs> okay. So I just went and found a vinyl that I really liked and made me happy. And it was this uh, uh, holographic, like glitter. Okay. So here is the inside. Now I'm, I left this blank. I can decorate this however I see fit. Or I can just leave it blank. I do have some clear pockets that I'm going to put here at the at the corner of this one just so I can slide things in uh, but and I, which I got those off of amazon.com I should have grabbed one uh, before I started this video but I forgot but it's just going to be a little pocket uh, and it's clear you can see through it and in the corner because I plan on using this for years to come I'm not going to use it right away because I'm already using uh, a notebook currently. Now this is um, this paper is actually from the Happy Planner and it's a grid. So now let me get this out. This is a sheet protector that I got from also um, pleasantlyplanned.com had a piece of hair on that. Pleasantlyplanned.com. These and this cover. Now keep in mind if I didn't say so, these planners come in two. The planner covers come in two. One for the front, one for the back. The uh, dividers are clear and it comes in a pack of six. So right now I only have six in this book. The, um, this one is here in the front and then I got five in the back. I don't know if I'm going to use this for a planner or if I'm going to um, use this just for a journal. Now with these, if you want, you can decorate these any way you want. You can put stickers over them. If I wanted to, I can go get more vinyl and put it on the top of here, but I really don't want to use vinyl 
on these. It's not my plan anyways. You can just use these to cover up what's underneath. You know, say this is your first page. You can just leave this, you know, on top. So you can still see the next page. Um, if you want to decorate this, you're more than welcome to. Put how, however way you want to, any stickers from anywhere. But if you don't want to see this page coming through here, then I would just get some colored paper or some, what do you call that kind of paper? Uh, scrap paper. I forgot. Just whatever colored paper you find. I can't think of the name of it right now. And I got so much of it. Anyways, you can put just a colored uh, sheet of paper behind it. So that you the you can see the color uh, uh, behind it instead of this paper. But basically, that is really all you do. It's just that simple. Now, the one thing I like having this grid paper is it makes it so easy to line up your stickers. Um. I can mess up a square with a ruler. Trust me, I can. <laughs> I Dexterity in my hands aren't what they used to be. I've never been that coordinated. But I really like the grid to line, you know, to put my stickers down on. So I'm not too awfully crooked. Now, um, I also wanted to mention, I, I was talking about planners. Now, this would, I'd put my own stickers down for a journal. I'd have boxes from Mojo Jojo Plans, and I got an array of decorative stickers and boxes and washi tape and stuff that I can use. But I wanted to show you this is, um, hold on, sorry. This is uh, a planner, a mini planner, inserts that I got from the scrappywife.com. And as you can see, there's it's all just a dot here. There's nothing here to remind me to put a note. There's no dates down here or any quotes. It's just blank. It's an undated planner insert. And when you get, you can get them for the, the mini, like this one is, classic size or the big size. I think she calls it grande and kind of like the, the sizes of coffee, grande, viente or whatever from her website. But this is a, the equivalent of a mini size. And I can date it however way I want to. I can start whenever I want to. So here is my monthly. And here is my weekly. There is nothing here on the side. There's nothing down on the bottom. It's undated so I can date this however I want. Decorate it however I want. She gives you enough paper for each month and on the back of here there's nothing absolutely nothing I can decorate this any way I want to keep in mind uh, if I didn't say so the phone rang in my ear so <laughs> I really need to be finishing this video up real soon but uh, uh, the inserts that she has for the mini, the classic, or the big comes in six month segments. So in order to do a year, you would have to buy two. Okay, so you'd have to buy two of them on the scrappywife.com uh, website to make a year. These uh, dividers are from a different planner I had. So let me get back. Let me try to open this up. Uh. 
Okay, so this is the beginning of a month. This is what's on the other side of your monthly. So what I did is I took this page and I double taped it to this. I'm not really fond of uh, these so much, so I didn't worry too much about um, using double-sided tape to tape this to that. I don't need a front page. Usually if I have a planner or even a notebook, I'll have everything at the front, extra stuff. If I had something that I needed through the week, I can just cut it to size and, you know, just put it in be in between, you know, like here if I needed to. But generally, I don't do that as a rule. So when it comes to, let me put this out of the way. So when it comes to this, uh, I don't know if this is going to be a journal. I don't know if this is going to be a planner. But if this turns out to be a planner, I probably won't be using this until 2025 in July. Because I'm currently using one that ends in December. I think it ends in December. No, it ends in June of next year. So if I, when I start a new planner, it'll be July of 2025. If I decide to use this next, then... Um, then this will be next year as a classic planner. Now, um, this is the one in the previous video that I made. So this probably won't, this is actually one I actually made all the way through. And this is for a mini. Um, I probably won't start using this until... 2026 because I already have one that I'm going to use when this year is over for the current mini that I'm using. Okay, well that's uh, it everybody. If you have any questions uh, please let me know down in the comments. Be safe and keep it creative. Have a great day.